I'm Rebecca Reid and welcome to this series about pig farming in New Zealand. Today we'll take a look at the different housing systems for pigs, ones that have been weaned from their mothers to when they leave the farm. Today we're visiting a pig farm where the weaned pigs are raised in temperature controlled housing. Oh, who's hungry? Who's hungry? Oh yes, I'm hungry. Uh, this is my uh, indoor piggery here in Canterbury. It's a 350 sour farrow to finish operation. So the piglets were all born here and we take them through to their market weight and send them off to, to be slaughtered. Presently we, uh, we're, we're finishing about 7,200 pigs a year and we're selling um, about 240 wieners every, every four weeks. The pigs are indoors all, 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 at all times. Um, and, the, and the reason we do that is uh, it helps us maximise the, um, the health of the pigs so we can control the environment and the cleanliness of the environment and we can uh, protect them from, from the elements. So here we are in the farrowing room and to help prepare the, um, the piglets for weaning or their stomachs at least for the, the change from, uh, from milk to uh, dry feed, we feed them a, a, a creep feed. So it's full of all the, all the goodies, quite high in milk powder for the piglets. Tastes really good. Breakfast of champions. It's, it's mainly um, wheat, soy meal, um, a lot of milk powder, lots of vitamins and minerals, and heaps of little uh, special um, additives that we put in here to um, really help that transition from um, milk to meal be the smoothest as possible. So here we're in the wiener room. So this is where the piglets come immediately after they're taken, taken off their mums. So in here we've got a, a, a fully uh, insulated building using refrigerator panelling, a slot of flooring, and ad lib feed. So these pigs can feed, ad lib means they can feed when they want, however much they want. Uh, we've got a gas heater just here that we use to um, warm the room when the pigs are small. Once they are in here for about two weeks they generate enough heat to keep themselves warm. And then the fan and uh, the inlet flaps to keep the, um, the atmosphere in here uh, Nice, so not too humid, not too gassy, and uh, when it's really hot, keeps them cool. Uh, there's access to water 24 seven, so they just eat when they like, how often they like, and as much as they like. The weaners, growers, and finishers all have different environmental and nutritional needs. This ensures they're healthy, growing to their potential, and ultimately producing high quality lean meat. So gone are the days of tipping a bucket of slops over, over the pen to a pig. We're really focused on what we're doing now and to be profitable you need to uh, tailor these diets to uh, what these pigs require to eat and you've got to be free of microbes so they won't just grow on uh, properly or fast on any old slops. So in the diets we're putting barley, soya meal, meat and bone meal, vitamins and minerals, amino acids, probiotics, so there's, there's a heap of things that go in there. So if we want these pigs to grow fast, healthy, antibiotic free and we've got to tailor these diets so we keep the animals in optimum health. This morning we are moving some wieners from their wiener accommodation across to the grower accommodation. Um, so basically for a wiener pig is a pig that is taken away from its mum at, at uh, three weeks of age. Um, it's put into the, the wiener accommodation where it's fed dry meal and, and it has access to water 24-7 then uh, the pig will remain in there for, uh, for approximately seven weeks until they're about 30 kilo kilograms. So here we are in, uh, in the grower shed. Uh, all of our growing pens are, are like this shed here. They house uh, 50 pigs per pen, so 100 pigs per room. Uh, the walls are made of uh, insulated uh, panel and the floors are plastic fully slotted. So all the effluent and dung goes, uh, is kept, captured below the pigs and you can see how clean they are. So when we're checking these pigs, we don't stand still for too long. Uh, these pigs are uh, pretty curious and uh, they're wondering how I taste right now. So these pigs here are uh, two weeks away from going to market and shortly we're going to be feeding these pigs and you can see uh, what happens at dinner time. We're controlling the environment of the pigs the best we can and probably the best that's possible. It's, um, it's world class and uh, it allows us to, 
to look after the pigs in a, in a fantastic way where, where, where the nutrition of the animals is looked after, the, the health and hygiene is, is um, superb and we see that in the results by um, fast growing pigs um, with producing fantastic carcasses and, and giving a um, hopefully a really enjoyable um, product for the, uh, for the end user or the, or the consumer. So that gives you an idea about one of the many grower systems on New Zealand pig farms. No matter what style of housing the farmers choose, they all have the same goal of producing healthy, well cared for and productive pigs. Until next time, I'm Rebecca Reid.